Alright guys, we're going to be unboxing this little package from Divoom. I am so excited. This is called the Fairy OK. And I got the green one. Because I just wanted something different. All my accessories from them are pink. So I wanted something different. And I love this color green. It's so pretty. So we have the little instruction manual here. And also it came with a... USB-C, I believe, and look at this box. How pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do a reels on this as well because I think that would be so fun. But oh, did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. I hope the lighting is okay. The sun is going down, so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. But oh wow, this is actually pretty pretty heavy okay so let me just get this out it's like a little microphone freaking cute i'm filipino so y'all already know that i love karaoke so when i saw this i was like oh my god i really really want it so when they reached out i was like yes 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 i would love to so as that and this is the little microphone thing okay so let's put this back I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. The whole packaging presentation and all of that is just beautiful. So I'm guessing this just kind of goes over this like that. Like a little, little microphone. I could be wrong. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and see the instruction here. Yeah. Okay. How cute. So let me just zoom you in here. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? It's really heavy. So it's a radio, I believe, and a karaoke machine, like on-the-go karaoke machine. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, and I'm so excited. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. So the button back here is the on and off, and then right here is the charging port and then these right here the three the four little dots that's an indicator for the battery power or level i should say this up here is the antenna oh and then more buttons this button right here on the top what is this is the play volume knob and oh my gosh, all of these little things are buttons, each one of this. So right here is indicator for the Bluetooth. Um, this right here in the middle is the radio knob. <gasps> Look at that. It actually does spin. Oh my gosh, I am shook. And then this right here is the mode button so it changes the audio modes to bluetooth or radio um and then let's see number eight so this one and this one that is previous track or next track and then there's one more right here is a tf card Port for mp3 files how interesting is that you can put an SD card oh my god this thing is so nifty okay I have it charging and that is what it looks like when it's charging it's just kind of blinking back and forth so I'm guessing it has you know half the battery and then it's blinking so right now it's blinking blue which is Bluetooth I'm going to put it on radio, which is green. Oh my. I'm Bill Meyer, inviting you to join us again. The reason why you're drowning, you're drowning. Oh my god, how fun. Hello. <gasps> Hi. Whoa, it's, it's a mic. This is so cool. <laughs> it's literally an on-to-go mic karaoke machine. How awesome. 
So it says that if it's in blue, that means Bluetooth. If it's red, that means you have a card. And if it's green, it's the radio. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to my Bluetooth on my phone. And then let's play some music. I've been really enjoying Harry Styles' album. Just love it. I thought it'd be fun to do a voiceover for this part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little unboxing that I did in the beginning. I am enjoying that little speaker so, so, so much. Actually, no, I should say my husband enjoys it more than me because he really loves the radio um, feature of it. Um, but I love it because, you know, I can connect it to my phone and play my music really loudly. It's such a cute little device. But anyways, onto this video, I'm just pretty much sharing with you guys what I did for the rest of the night. I am right now cleaning the kitchen. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot cook in a messy kitchen. So before I start cooking, I make sure that the kitchen is clean. I do all the dishes. I put the dishes away and load the dishwasher and whatnot. Kind of like making sure the sink is clean. The countertops are nice and clean. I have all the room that I need, stuff like that. So yeah, here I am making sure, you know, to do all the dishes beforehand. Let me know if you're just like that. I feel like it's... <sighs> I don't know like I was editing this video I'm like wow I did the dishes before dinner and then I had to do the dishes again after dinner it's just it's a lot of work it really is <laughs> but that's just how I function I guess like I cannot work in a mess um, so yeah let me know if you are just like me in the comments I know I'm not the only one <laughs> All right, so for dinner, I am actually going to be making spaghetti this night. And I think I showed you guys how I make my own spaghetti. It's nothing special. You know, I make the noodles just like normal. And then um, for my sauce, I use like, I think it's the Prego flavored meat sauce. So I don't do it from scratch. I don't have time for that, but I just use one of those uh, canned sauce and then I mix in my ketchup and all that to, to taste and then I do add a lot of Italian seasoning and some garlic salt and all that like I guess you know try to make it the way we like it but also this night I decided to make better than sex cake that's what I still was called but it's pretty much German chocolate cake and you just bake it the way it says in the box and yeah it's super easy you just follow the instructions on the box and then once you bake that, um, you put in caramel and condensed milk on top, you let that cool down, and then you add whipped cream. And yeah, you'll see all of that in the video because I show it. But what I didn't show is I also add Heath chocolate bars on top. So I take like four little Heath chocolate bars and I chop that up into small tiny pieces and I just sprinkle it all over the cake. And there you have it it's like the best thing ever definitely give it a shot if you like chocolate or cake um but i really like this cake because it's not super sweet um yeah it's it's so good i love it <laughs> All right, we're finally about to put the cake in the oven and then here I am, I'm starting the pasta and the sauce and all of that. Um, the seasoning that I used, did I mention it already? I pretty much just used like some garlic salt and a lot of Italian seasoning. I also mix in ketchup into my sauce, like Hanes ketchup. Sometimes I use banana ketchup, like the Filipino ketchup, depending on what I like or like, I don't know, I just go by taste pretty much. Um, I also saw this 
and like a TikTok video like to get rid of all the fat and oil from the meat and you just take a paper towel like that and it like soaks it all up so I'm not sitting here like trying to scoop it with a spoon like I usually do like scoop it into a cup and you know that adds dishes but like I just do that and I'm done like what how come I've never seen that before you know so yeah TikTok is pretty awesome for that <laughs> anyways here's the dinner there's the pasta and then the sauce and as you can see here I am doing dishes again because yeah like who else is gonna do it right <laughs> just kidding but yeah it's like you do dishes beforehand and then you do dishes afterhand and then it's just like oh, it's a lot of work okay <laughs> it's a lot of work Alright, so back into the cake. This is what I use caramel and condensed milk. I don't do too much um, So I do kind of like half and half More so of the condensed milk though because I like condensed milk and you just you know heat it up in a frying pan like that and then I just Drizzle it on top like this over the cake. By the way, I did poke holes in the cake I just use um, you can use a fork or if you have one of those little shish kebab sticks you can use that um, but yeah I just drizzle it all over I I believe I didn't use everything that I heated up because it's too much um, so yeah don't add too much if you don't like too much sweets in your thing but that's all that I did and then here I am putting the food away because we of course have leftovers So once the cake is cooled down or the caramel is cooled down, just go ahead and add your whipped cream on top. I usually use a full tub of whipped cream because I love whipped cream and I guess spread it all the way across the cake and it's just so, so, so good. Um, again, I do take Heath chocolate bars. I chop those up and then I sprinkle it on top and yeah it's so good you guys definitely try out this recipe if you haven't and that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's super short shorter than my usual vlogs but i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here if you haven't please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really helps out my channel and until next time bye